Good afternoon. In our today's edition, we share the latest football news. Ansu Fati, unexpected choice. Mbappé and PSG have sorted things out. Joao Felix and Barcelona, Chelsea new talented player. Lionel Messi's crazy performance in the Inter-Miami night match. Don't miss all this and more in our today's edition. Don't forget to give us a like, click the bell and subscribe to our channel. If you have already done so, let's get started. Chelsea have made a new deal. The team has acquired a young player for a significant sum. The club paid 45 million euros for the transfer of midfielder Cole Palmer from Manchester City. Fabrizio Romano has reported that the English player is undergoing a medical at Chelsea. The official announcement of the transfer is expected in the near future. The acquisition of the midfielder was an urgent request of Mauricio Pochettino. Palmer's move to Chelsea was an unexpected choice. Instead of the stable Manchester City, the player chose to join a team known for its chaos. Pochettino probably promised the young talent more playing time. Otherwise, the move would have been pointless. Due to Palmer's departure, the City midfield will be replenished with Matthias Nunes. According to The Athletic, Wolverhampton have reached a verbal agreement with Manchester City over the players' transfer for 55 million euros. The parties are currently busy finalizing the deal. In addition, Manchester City will loan midfielder Tommy Doyle to Wolverhampton on loan with an option to buy him back for 5 million pounds. Although the move will be formalized as a separate deal, it seems to be part of the payment for Nunes. Marco Verity will soon leave the team and move to Alarebi. The transfer amount will be 50 million euros, while his value, according to the transfer market portal, is estimated at 40 million euros. Verratti will sign a contract until 2026. Marco will receive a huge salary in the new team, but the exact amount is unknown. We don't know what the amount would have to be to surprise us. The media reports that Marco's departure from PSG was initiated by the club, not by the player himself. PSG no longer wants to see Verratti in their team. According to Le Parisien, Luis Enrique has personally told the player that he has no place in his team. However, how true this is remains unclear. In any case, the situation for Verratti is not easy right now. He is the last of the PSG old guard left, but not for long. In addition, there is information about Mbappé. Kylian is on the verge of extending his contract with PSG and the media already has some details. Presumably, the contract will be extended until 2026. The contract will also include a buyout amount that will be automatically activated in 2024. So far, the press has not disclosed the size of this Buau amount, but we assume it will be significant. For example, the transfer market portal estimates that Kylian is valued at 180 million euros, so we can assume that the clausula will be even higher than this amount. Of course, it would also be interesting to know the terms of the contract itself. It should be clarified whether MVP salary has been increased or remained the same. If everything the press is saying is true and his contract is extended, then a move to Real Madrid would probably be impossible for him. Probably no one will pay a payoff for him, especially after he, shall we say, cheated Real Madrid last summer. Kylian was planning to play for PSG this season. However, in order for that to happen, he needed to become a free agent. If he doesn't get that status, things will change, especially for Real Madrid. Perhaps Kylian is creating all this fuss just to get a more favorable contract from PSG. As you already know, there have been a lot of changes this year. The Sheiks have changed everything, especially with their huge wages. Perhaps Mbappe wants to keep up with them too. Thomas Touche has asked the Bayern management for a new centre-back, believing that Goretzka, Kimmich and Lehmer are not suitable for the role. He is going to introduce a new style of football at the Munich club that requires a different type of player. At first, the club's management was outraged, but eventually agreed to the coach's requests. According to Bild, Christian Falk, and other reliable sources, Bayern are in the final stages of negotiations to acquire Fulham midfielder Joao Paulinho. Tuchel is prioritizing the Brazilian player. Bayern are also showing interest in Scott McTominay from Manchester United. Joao from Fulham fits the coach's requirements perfectly. He has great stamina and is an extremely defensive midfielder capable of stopping opponents' attacks even alone. According to Florian Plattenberg, Munich have reduced the price for Ryan to 30 million euros. It is possible that Palhinha will join the team soon, while Gravenberg will leave the team. According to information from Fabrizio Romano, Joao Felix is still hopeful of a possible move to Barcelona and is ready to expect a response from the club before the 1st of September. We are Barcelona. We are expected not only to win but also to play good attacking football. Recently things have not been as they should be, so we have been trying hard to create more chances and matches. When Ferran Torres or Fati, two attacking players, come out, we create more. Sometimes we don't play with enough attacking players, I don't have the support, and that's why I'm looking for the best solution for the team. 
said Robert Lewandowski, Joa Felix could be a great assistant for Robert in this case at least on paper. However, when it comes to practice, certain questions arise. But let's agree, it would be very interesting to see Felix at Barcelona. After all, his potential is not yet exhausted and he is capable of continuing to surprise. Joao Felix and remarks about his desire to move to Barcelona and play for the team proved to be wrong and damaged his reputation. They seriously hurt Atletico Madrid fans and the club's management. Barcelona certainly don't need that kind of trouble right now. According to rumors, the Blue Granite can rent Felix, but a full-fledged transfer is not considered because of Barcelona's financial difficulties. Besides, buying out a player without seeing him in action is a questionable decision. According to the information, a loan is the most likely option for Joao Felix, if, of course, the transfer takes place. There is also information about a possible move to Saudi Arabia, voiced by journalist Ben Jacobs. According to the source, the Portuguese footballer is interested in a move to one of the clubs in Saudi Arabia. However, the move will only be made if Felix is unable to move to Barcelona before the summer transfer window closes. Thus, the forward will wait for offers from the Catalan club until 1 September. In addition, PSG, Benfica, Aston Villa, Manchester United and Newcastle are also interested in the player. Right now, the transfer market portal values Jawa Felix at 50 million euros. Randall Kolumwani has spoken out about his move to PSG. I hope that a draft will allow me to move to PSG. I owe a lot to this team. I have always tried my best. But it's no secret that PSG has made me a record offer. I would like to join them as it is a great opportunity to develop my career. I hope that Eintracht will agree to a deal with PSG. Sky Sports Germany quotes Kolo Moani as saying, According to media reports, the Sheiks have offered around 100 million euros for Randall Kolo Moani. Some sources claim that the amount is 80 million, but taking into account possible bonuses, we will round up to 100. It is important to note that Randall has already scored two goals for Eintracht this season, which shows his good form. We are confident that this transfer will take place, given the strategy of the German club, which tends to sell players. While PSG aims to create a star-studded squad, they haven't been very good at it lately. But that's a whole other story. It's even a reason for a separate video. We expect Kolo Muani to move to PSG. There are also reports that Kolo Muani refuses to train with Eintracht. The player wants to go to PSG. We have seen a different side of Randall, seen his true colors. There is a lot of pressure on him now. That's why he's having this reaction. We have made it clear to him and his entourage that this is wrong. It is clear to us that such behavior does not affect the transfer activity. Now the game against Sofia Club is important. It has the highest priority and great importance for the club. The club's press service quoted Etract sporting director Marks Kresche as saying, We remind you that the transfer window closes on the 1st of September. In order not to miss the most interesting transfers and much more, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. This way you will always be aware of all the events. According to information from Fabrizio Romano, Ansu Fati, an English Premier League player, will soon move to Brighton, despite early rumors of his possible move to Chelsea or Tottenham. One of the key factors in this transfer is the team's head coach, Roberto De Zerbi. So far, only a possible hire is known. There is no information about the possibility of Abiyot. Perhaps that is why the big clubs are not interested in acquiring him. Barcelona are only willing to loan Ansu Fati at the moment, and it is unknown if he will be sold after his loan expires. For Brighton, it would still be a reinforcement regardless of the buyout option. And for Fati himself, it's a great opportunity to get more game practice, which he is sorely lacking at Barcelona. Lionel Messi's goal-scoring streak for Inter Miami was snapped in a match against Nashville, where the team failed to score a single goal. Lionel Messi was active throughout the match, creating many chances for his team. He delivered classic diagonal passes, beautifully dribbled the ball into the penalty area, and effectively outmaneuvered his opponents. However, all of this was not enough. Luka Modric could soon move to Miami, which would greatly strengthen the team and make it easier to beat their rivals. David Beckham tracked down Modric in Croatia, and pictures of the encounter have leaked to the press. Beckham is likely to convince the midfielder to join Inter Miami, especially considering the team's financial stability. Javier Sensi, the club's commercial director, has shared information about Lionel Messi's impact on the club's revenue. Obviously, of all the players in the world, Leo sells the most commercially. To give you an idea, in 2024 we multiply Inter's pre-Leo revenue by 4. There is a before and after Messi for Miami, and for all of MLS. With Inter only paying a portion of Messi's wages, the club has the ability to bring in a few more star players while maintaining current revenue levels. Well, make sure you watch our last video. He's in front of your eyes right now. That's all for today. See you soon, friends.